Now, from your number one sports station, here's Jeff Alt. Hey, good evening, everyone. Break out the Zamboni, the capital city's first ever ice hockey team. The Scarecrows opened training camp today. Under the watchful eye of Coach Paul Kelly, 30 players hit Expo Center Ice, hoping to score one of 17 roster spots. Playing hockey is something these guys have done all their lives. Now they have a chance to be pioneers of their sport in a place that's never seen hockey before. I expect you'll see really good hockey, you'll see tough hockey, and uh, you'll see something very new, uh, something maybe in the aspects maybe a little rougher than, uh, than football, maybe a little bloodier maybe. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's going to be exciting. Just looking forward to get out there and get going and show these uh, Topeka people what hockey's all about. It's going to be a good time and exciting and just looking forward to get going here. I like challenge and I like opportunity and uh, Topeka presented both and uh, uh, with some big challenges here with a new organization, a new team and uh, we feel that we're going to achieve uh, all we set out to do. Not much time to get ready for the season. It kicks off Friday night, 7 o'clock, Wichita in the house for a preseason tilt over at the Kansas Expo Center. You can get tickets at the gate. They will sell tickets at the gate for this one again. They'll drop the puck around 7 o'clock. Should be the start of something pretty good here in the capital city, at least something new. With a nickname of Seahawks and a player named Waters, you think Seattle would have survived the water polo match last night at Arrowhead? Not the case. Following a very unfootball-like rain delay, look at that. For nearly an hour, Rich Gannon put on some dry boots and ran the bootleg for three yards into the end zone. Chiefs led 10-3 at the break. Second half, Chiefs flood the Seahawk attack for good on this play. Gannon unloads, deep upfield, hauling it in. Spider-Man Andre Rise, and he's gone, splashing through the field there. 80-yard touchdown. Chiefs win the AFC West showdown 17-6. 13 Sports' is Todd Schumacher has more on the wet win. Well, the thing that came to my mind was the game in Cleveland. Right here on CBS 13, Sunday at high noon. Before Mother Nature dropped by Arrowhead last night, she dumped herself all over Heartland Park. All of yesterday's NHRA competition washed out. Now, makeup dates have been set. Here it is, Saturday, October 17th. Now, if you had tickets from yesterday... Whether you use them or not, you can use them for sure Saturday, October 17th. If you have any questions about that, you call the number on the bottom of your screen, 1-800-43-RACES. Again, 1-800-43-RACES. And another note we want to pass along concerning Rafe LaFrance and Paul Pierce. Of course, they're headed to the NBA. Well, guess what? NBA preseason completely wiped out Freeze. because of the lockout. So, mm. we'll have to see. All right. Thanks, Jeff. All's quiet on this city.